Hello dears, so today's video uh, for discussion the topic will be based on data and message security. So in your unit we are learning about how securely you are going to protect your uh, networks and computer devices and uh, the actions that you are taking over a network should also be protected using uh, firewalls and uh, using so many client server security uh, things and so many things like that. So one part of that is data and message security. Okay, so how securely are you going to protect your data in your computers? And how securely are you going to send messages from one organization to a client or to another organization and so on. So let's get started with the a detailed description of all these things. First one, what is a data security? Okay, so what is a data security? So electronic data security is important at time when people are considering banking and other financial transactions by PC. So uh, as we are studying or we are learning this topic as a part of e-commerce. So when you are transacting uh, over a network, electronic data security is very important because there are chances that a third party or a hacker may get into your information or get into your data and grab your information and use it in another way okay so one major threat to data security is unauthorized network monitoring so unauthorized network monitoring or packet sniffing is a very common thing which is happening over a network especially during banking frauds and all is happening through an unauthorized network monitoring so uh, what do you mean by this packet sniffing in brief so if i would say packet sniffing is uh, an act which can capture the packets or data packets of data which is flowing across a computer network so without authorization if someone is looking into the data which is traveling over a network that act is known as a packet sniffing so uh, the software or a device which is used to do this type of act is called a packet sniffer Okay, so when a network manager or a technician is using a packet sniffer, uh, they are using these packet sniffers to uh, diagnose whether there is any problem in their network and whether the network uh, through which they are sending data is secure, the organization itself will at, uh, appoint a packet sniffer. But other than that, there are people who will get, uh, get into your network to collect the data and do frauds and other security threats to your network so that, that is why data security or electronic data security is very very important while you are transacting over a network okay so that is about data security then what is message security message security or messaging security is a program that provides protection for companies messaging infrastructure it protects all the personal messages of the company which are related to company's vision and mission so it always protects the messages that are transferred over a network that it always protects the messages that are very confidential and will mention to the company's vision and mission so messaging security is also very important like data security in today's world Okay, so how are you going to provide this message security? You know you have to provide the uh, data security and message security. Otherwise, unauthorized access to your information will happen. So how are you going to provide message security? So it can be provided through so many types like message confidentiality. You can make your message very confidential and through that act you can send it over a network uh, like providing a proper security and that is called message confidentiality.
message and system integrity so this is also one type of message security which you can uh, uh, formulate a separate security measure to protect the message that is traveling through a network and thirdly it is message authentication which is very uh, common in today's uh, thing what do you mean by an authentication authentication is the practice of verifying someone is who they claim to be so it if you are uh, sending something over a network the network will check whether it's really you for an example if you say if you're trying to uh, log in uh, to your gmail from a different device uh, from the like commonly you are using a device and from a different device you're going to log into your gmail you'll always get an authentication message from google isn't it 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 always asks you that someone has logged in from this device from this ip address is that you if it's not you please do the needful so that is some kind of message authentication measures that will ensure the message security so there are some uh, there are the most common three these are the most common three types of message securities that are available okay so there are certain form of authentication okay so authentication will be in different forms uh, it is used to protect the system from unauthorized access or disclosure or disruptions or any type of recordings or destructions so types of form of authentication is that it always have cryptographically signed certificates okay so cryptography is something which is uh, you are doing it in a different style from a common style so cryptographically signed certificates is one type of uh, authentication or e-commerce authentication when you are uh, getting into an e-commerce net, uh, network or if you are going to transact or if you are going to trade for something they'll ask for authentication it's something which i told like in gmail they'll ask if or verify if it's really you okay then sometimes third party authentication this is also one most commonly seen uh, authentication form uh, like you uh, it, it is used in so many apps like google duo or uh, like in google authenticator or some of the apps which always use this third party authentication that is you always when you log into a network it will generate a login code that will help us to confirm it's you okay so you will have a, a authentication code maybe it, it it will be in a form of otp so if you are logging into a separate application for uh, some network transaction they'll always send you an otp to confirm it's you so these are some type of authentication techniques that are seen in today's today's uh, scenario okay so encryption as the basis of data and message security encryption is also one type of um, uh, security measure that is used to protect your data and messages okay so encryption is the mutation of information in any form that is maybe it will be a text or it will be a video or it will be a graphics into a representation unreadable by anyone without a decryption key so encryption is nothing but it will be a self generated code only the sender and receiver can understand okay so this can be done using decryption keys so it can be a, a private or public key uh, it is like you can see there are two types of encryption one is secret key cryptography and other one is public key cryptography so uh, if you are using a secret key the sender and the receiver will have that secret key so that they can decrypt the code and read the message if it's a public key then it's not a secret key it is a public key if you are logging into a certain network this is the key which you have to use for decrypting the data okay so what is the advantages of using this decryption and encryption in message security so no one can figure out the private key from corresponding public key hence the key management problem is mostly confined to management of private keys so it is always necessary to have a management over the private keys and it should be kept very confidentially
okay and the need for sender and receiver to share secret information over pu public channel is completely eliminated so if you have a confidential message to be sent over a network you can always use a seek use a secret key cryptography or decryption methods to send it over only the sender and receiver will get it so on on the whole if you say there are so many uh, techniques to safeguard your data and message and uh, some of the techniques which we saw are like message authentications form of authentications and encryptions and these are all most commonly seen but we are not aware of why it is used for so these are some of the most uh, uh, commonly seen uh, security measures that are taken for a data and messages okay so that is all about the video and thank you thank you for the cooperation and watching the video thank you